what what is the goal to get like people to watch? I guess, yeah. So what makes it engaging? I mean, we have discussions on a bunch of different things. Like what? I mean, what do you want to discuss? No, I was asking you what are the discussions. Talk about a bunch of different things: intersexual dynamics, politics, you know, whatever. What are inter intersexual dynamics? Yeah, like dating and relationships. Yeah. What are your, what are your thoughts on dating oh, and relationships? Oh. I think uh, you know, men lead, women follow. And that's pretty much it. I mean, simple. What do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. Men lead, women follow. Like, men are supposed to lead in relationships that women are supposed to follow. Interesting. Why yeah. do you think that? Because men are designed to lead and women are designed to follow. It's kind of the way that the system's worked for centuries. And just now that we live in this civilized world that, you know, we go ahead and say, oh no, when you say women are equal to men, but not really. Like yeah, I mean, from a biological standpoint. So you're saying women say they're equal to men, but they aren't? Well, is that they want what? You gotta be out the yeah, walkway. In the walkway. Oh, okay, that's cool. Right. We'll, we'll move over here. Yeah, so you know, they're biologically, we're biologically different. How, how is your parents doing? Good. They're still together. My dad is the authority and my mom follows. You know, this whole egalitarian thing doesn't work, unfortunately. So, like, your dad, what do you mean by that? Your dad. What do you mean by your dad leads in your own? He's the boss. My mom follows. Yeah. Okay. Put your camera at 1%. He makes the decisions. You are drunk as hell, aren't you? No, I'm not so drunk. Yeah, you're pretty, pretty fucking lit, man. Holy. Yeah, you're pretty fucked up. No, no, no. I just think I'm just surprised by your... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard, man. You go anywhere else in the world, like, a lot of guys think this way. It's just that in, in the United States where we're, like... You know, super feminized. We tend to think yeah. that we're equal when we're not at all. So men should always be the women should Absolutely, in all things. For most things, yes. Okay. Most and things it's for sure. For you to spread this. Yes. You're like, yes. You're like the, the leader. Or one of the. I mean, like I th a, I think. Uh, like, would like Andrew Tate be the leader, and you're like a, right. one of the Andrew Tate followers? Andrew Tate is actually a personal friend of mine. So like, I know him. Like, Miami, like, a, like a subsidiary Andrew Tate person? Not really. I mean, we've been doing this for quite a while. Um, I'm glad that you know about Andrew Tate. That means that his influence is very strong, which is great. And I think the message getting out is important. And who spreads it is irrelevant because the message needs to get out there. But yeah, I mean, uh, men need to be men and uh, be leaders. And you think that's. There's a bunch of things going on. I mean, look at who's in office. Look at the dollar. Look at inflation. The world was locked down for multiple years for no fucking reason. Like, I mean, this is a bad time. You get it? You agree? We are in the, the safest, most violent, most prosperous time in history. Yeah, for sure. And if we continue on the path that, we, that we're going, it's going to lead to bad times. Weak men lead to bad times. Bad times create strong men. Strong men create good times. And right now we're on the cycle of weak men and, and good times. Yeah, but for how long? You're saying definitely. That's the problem. It's gonna get bad. Yeah, for sure. I wish I had the foresight. Yeah. It's it's this is how it always happens, man. Uh, the Roman Empire collapsed right when they were getting the most entertainment. Because they were taking too much power. Well, was, they had a lot of the same issues. They had, uh, you know, this whole thing about we don't know how many genders there are, a bunch of degeneracy, a bunch of fucked up stuff was going on, and then bam, next thing you know, collapse. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if you agree or disagree. I, you kind of just asked me questions. I don't know what your stance is. Uh, I probably mostly disagree. Okay, what do you, what am I incorrect about then? What do you disagree with? I totally find a woman being. You think that works? Okay, can you name one matriarchy that stood the test of time? I don't know if I want this. Uh, 
I don't think that that's relevant. It absolutely is because if you can tell me a matriarch and stood the test of time, then that means that female leadership led to a, you know a prosperous civilization. Well, so I think that men for a long time, men, men are, are stronger than women for, yeah. a, for a long time. Yeah. have been able to sort of rule based on that. Yeah. But as we've developed technology and other things, that strength and stuff has become less, less and less relevant. So I, I now think that it, it would be fine for women to be in positions of power. And, and actually, there, there, are, there have been, you know, in, in, there have been many women in positions of power around the world that have done very good jobs. Can you name one matriarchy then? The test of time? Matri- but, I, but I think... I don't think I need to do there's, that. There's one that doesn't... Because it doesn't like, exist. Like, like, for instance, like... Uh, and, 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 uh, like all, honestly, all the power I, that I, I women wish have. That I, could, I wish that I could name yeah, more you female leaders, leaders that really have those. Like, and that's precisely Angela, my point. Angela Merkel was like probably like the most important leader in Europe in recent history. Uh, Margaret Thatcher was like hugely influential uh, leader. Like I, I don't know, I just I, right like so. And, and the thing is like now there's like guns and stuff, right? So like if a woman has a gun, she can shoot me, and it doesn't matter if I'm stronger or weaker than her, for sure. But I, I would argue that I mean. Cool, but then why are female cops and women in the military so incompetent then? Why do are women they? get... They, they are, yes, yes, yes. There's so been, female there's been cops many, and yes. women in the military Absolutely, I don't, I don't think they should saying. be. I don't think they should be in the military or be in the front lines of a police force at all. They're, they're far more likely to actually get in a, shoot, in a shooting. Uh, are they? Absolutely. Statistically speaking, women are far more likely to get involved in an officer-involved shooting. I didn't know that. Because they're physically weaker. So therefore, since they're physically weaker, their use of force continuum is much shorter because they can't necessarily get into a physical confrontation with a male suspect, which a lot of the criminals are going to be males. Do me, you're saying we should leave. Uh, but that's sort of what I was what I was saying is that the whole thing is like the, like having guns and technology is sort of an equalizer, you know, right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah, it'll, it, it's an equalizer to a degree. But here's the thing: like they're more likely to use use of force, which could lead to a fatal, fatal situation, and shoot the individual when it wasn't a justified shooting. Sorry, so your argument right now is that like female cops are more likely to use lethal guns force absolutely. because they're physically weaker, yes. therefore women are should not ever be in positions of power. Like no. I don't know, it's just no, like a I'm weird, saying it's a weird no, jump to me. No 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 no. Well we started there. Because I, like, I, I, I asked you like, name I, a I female guess, matriarchy and you couldn't I do guess, that. So then we got into the topic of I guess I know like female a lot of, police like, officers in the military and I said, Well I don't think they should be in these positions because XYZ and I explained why. I know like a lot of smart Competent women that I think for like, sure could do, but that's a, a minority running, but things. that's a minority. A majority are, are so, simply. So, so not. I don't. I don't think it's necessarily a minority. I'm not agreeing with you on that point. But even if it were, would it be helpful to the world to be like it's absolutely women minority? And I'll tell you why. Sir, women most women, do most women are communitarian by nature. By, from a biological standpoint, communitarian, communitarian by nature. Okay. Which means you get a dollar, you get a dollar, you get a dollar. When little girls play, right, games, they don't play. Winner loser type games. They play games where it's everyone is involved. Hop scotch, I have no patty idea cake. Know, so See, that's what I'm trying to say. You're saying so, men, like young boys, yes, play different games. Yes, they have, boys, right? The little boys play games where there's a clear winner. I think so, I'm done, but I do think that you're probably wrong, and I don't think it's that this productive is a, this to is say fact. this kind of thing. This is absolutely. But fact. I don't know. Maybe it, this is the truth. Like when boys play video, play games, they play in a hierarchical sense where it's like, okay, there's a winner and, and there's a loser. That, and you think that's good? Well, that what that asserts is that there's a dominant hierarchy. Wouldn't it maybe be nice to have like a more communal based thing? Absolutely not. That's how you end up with communism and you lo- run a, a, end up with socialism and all these big things being problems. They don't work. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of socialist aspects of our society currently, and there's a lot of. And that's that why we're going down the shitter. Like, it, 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 capitalism works, but when you put women in power, they go with more socialist, communistic mindsets on how to run things, and that's a problem. Interesting. Why do you think we have Biden office right now? Females and minorities put them into office. So that's why we have the issues that we have because they don't base, they don't go off of meritocracy, they go off of and, communitarianism. And who would you even like for Biden to not be in office? I don't think he's done a good job as president, probably one of the worst presidents we've ever had. Would you like to be honest? I think Trump will do a much better job. I mean, he's the better candidate, clearly, in this situation. We're on the brink of World War III. The dollar is fucking going down. We're locked down for many years. The dollar is going down. Yes, the petrodollar literally has been replaced. So actually, the dollar is like one of the like 
the strongest chip in that. Like, yeah. Like from old currencies. Yeah, compared to other currencies, for sure. Yeah. 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 But that doesn't. Have, but look at inflation in the United States. The dollar will be the world reserve currency. As We're going to lose that currency status very soon. And you think that's Biden? Yes. Because he has weak foreign policy. Huh? No, no. Yes, I mean, his vice president is a female. His cabinet is filled with a bunch of libtards. So, yes, they're weak on foreign policy. That's why Russia invaded Ukraine. I mean, it has, I don't know if you realize, it's like a domino effect. If you have weak foreign policy, at least the issues. Women and minorities, so you think women and minorities should not vote, is what you're saying? I never said that. I just said that they're more likely. Empowered. Yes, they're more likely to vote for Democrats in more communitarian type situations, which leads to problems because it's not based on a meritocracy. All right, you're out. All right, man. Anyway, you guys can see liberals can't back up their their uh, their mindsets, or they can't back up their argument. Um, yeah, and uh, it's always funny that whole matriarchy thing because no one can ever name any any time a matriarchy stands the test of time. You gotta change your mind about topics. Like this one. Oh, look, she ran away. She's just terrified. It's okay, your hair looks like crap anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> okay, how are they not useless, in your opinion? What do you think? No, why? What is that? Hot girls. Are you hot? I don't know. What do you think? You don't, know <laughs> you don't know my opinion. But in this case right here, okay. we think hot girls are useless because they never, they never have to be like, useful in a sense. It's okay. like come to parties, show up, look pretty, and that's it. Okay. What do you think? But that's because men. Because men? men men think like that. Women don't think like that. What do they think? Hey, that all girls are beautiful. You think so? Yeah. Not only the hot ones. Myron. Yeah. Is she a hot girl? Hold on, hold on, hold, hold, on, hold the phone for one Listen. second. What? Where are you from? Argentina. Okay. You live in Miami or no? Are you single? Why are you single? Because I want to. Okay. Because I take the choice to be single. Okay. But if you could have a man right now, yeah. that was your ideal man, yeah. would you take him? Yeah. Okay. So why would you be useful to your man? I don't need to be useful for my man. Why not? He needs to be useful for me. Really? Yeah. Why is that? He needs to be a provider. He needs to be a good man. Uh, I mean, I need to be a good woman and he needs to be a good man. We, e e equals. But we I, need to be equals. I, I guess you, we, we meet him, right? He's going to be coming well, uh, fighting already. All right. Yes, all good stuff. Are you finishing up with her? Because now they're asking. I would love to know why. Why? Why? Okay. Hot girls are useless yeah, you can go with her because, because they never had to be useful. To what? <laughs> They're useless because they never had to be useful. And how so? Well, you tell me, how are they useful? It depends on the girl you meet because I understand you. You're definitely right. There's some girls that are useful. A majority. <laughs> What's your friend? A majority. What if there's a hot oh, yeah, guy? Check. <laughs> That's a minority. You disagree? You got no opinions? I see you're making faces, so you disagree or something. So you think hot girls are useful? Some things don't need commentary. They don't need commentary? Nah, they don't. Okay, so do you agree or disagree then? You don't got to give a comment. On what exactly? Hot girls are useless. Yeah. You feel that way? Yes, they are. Okay. A majority you're are. You're entitled to feel how it is that you feel. A majority are. I respect are. your opinion. You're definitely entitled to feel that way. I don't think so. There's some girls that are definitely worth more out there. You think? But, I you said know. I'm saying a majority of hot girls are useless. Majority of the mean, people you met. What do you met? consider a hot girl that's useless? A lot of girls in Miami, for example. I mean, okay. the girls but you yeah, invited on your yeah. podcast are all OnlyFans girls. That actually, that's not true. A majority are not OnlyFans girls. A minority From are. From what I've seen. Oh, but what you've seen is a snippet of what actually goes down. You're a right. majority of the girls actually have regular jobs. Really, like what? Some girls are nurses. Some girls work in aesthetics. A lot of work in aesthetics, actually. Some work in plastic surgery. Some are doctors. Some are lawyers. Some are law enforcement. Well, we're property management. Yeah, we're property management. A lot of girls that come on that are property management, actually. Airbnbs, all that stuff. So girls in real estate. Real estate agents all over the place. So, yeah. 
So the thing is that is that see, see the thing is you guys remember the OnlyFans girls because they tend to be the loud ones, but I mean that's what only goes viral on your account. Yeah. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's only what I see. Yeah. So that's why I don't come on here disrespectful as fuck like from most of the girls I see. Yeah, yeah. So I just like to hear your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think hot girls are useless? But that's A majority right. are. Are. They absolutely are. They're definitely right. I've interviewed over, almost over 3,000 girls. And that are hot. Yeah, but that's a minority. Are you worth it? Huh? Are you worth it? Am I worth it? Yeah. I like to think I am. The cat was that weird one. She became really, really good. It's different for you guys. Maybe you guys don't think That's good for her. That's good. It's a W. No, I don't know, but we've interviewed so many girls, man. I know, I know, I know. Like 3,000 girls, so. So, yeah. I feel like some girls just come here already hostile, so they don't hear your side. But I like to hear both sides. I personally don't agree, but that's your opinion, so you do how you want. I came on here just to speak how I want. I think there's... Sure. I think they're facts, but you may not think so, because it's from what you learned and what you know. You get me? Everybody goes from their different environment. I've had a different environment than you have, probably. Well, women are wrong about most things, because you guys live life on easy mode, if I'm going to be very honest. So, How so? You think I live my life on easy mode? Most, so here's the thing. If you take the average woman versus the average man, uh -huh. the average woman lives a way easier life than the average man by How far. So? Well, the average. Yes. An average woman. There's women out here in Miami that work a lot harder than the fucking average. average. Okay, so I need you to listen with your ears and not your feelings. The average woman. <laughs> no, I'm not listening with my fucking feelings. feelings. No, you are. You are. I'm you are. With the that you didn't I even do. let me finish. So, the average woman has a much easier life than an average man by far. Because as an average woman, you can still choose to find a man that makes more money than you, that will take care of you and support you. As a man, you don't have that benefit. You have to get out there and earn it, whether you like it or not. At least women can choose if they want to work hard. Now, if you decide to work hard, that's great. But you made that decision. But you don't have to, is my point. Okay. Not really. But I choose to. Not really. yeah. But that's a privilege. Because if I don't, then I... Okay, okay. But do you understand that that's a privilege so, that you can choose that? 100%. Okay. Men okay. have different privileges, privileges that women have. We have no privileges that you guys have. Can I speak... Can I, I would argue... Okay. Women, name one privilege that a man has that a woman doesn't. I'll, I'll hold, on. I'll hold, I'll on. hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've seen your work. No, oh. Honestly, no, no, no. I've seen your work and I'm no, not going to argue with no, you. No, 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 no. Because you know you're wrong. Okay. No, you know you're wrong. I'm okay. See, that, there you go. See, the I'm cop okay. out. The cop out. Like and this is typical female debate. behavior. They make like a statement me. and they can't back it up. Like okay. The they can't like back the it up. Like Can the I speak my mind? Hold on. Sure. What are you going to say? Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you one thing that us men have that women don't. That well, well, I was going to finish my statement. The only privilege we have okay. is that we can have sex with women without being judged. A lot right. of them. Granted. That's the only privilege Granted. we have. But we also have another privilege. We what get to walk down the street without being objectified, for the most part, unlike women. Okay, but so who makes the decision privileges. to be objectified? So that's more than one privilege. No, 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 no. That. That's not true. <laughs> I think because it's because right women choose to be objectified by the way that they dress and the way that they carry themselves. Hold on. If women were I'm walking around with uh, covering their hair and dressing more modestly, they wouldn't be objectified. I don't disagree with you. Do you think the way I'm dressed right now is modest? To, maybe to a degree, I don't. I st not really, but I mean, the reason why women are objectified is because a lot of times their own choices. For sure, maybe. I don't maybe so. And I would but argue like women want to be objectified. But like how you say hot girls that are useful are a privilege, or like. What, I never said that. Well, what did you say? I'm sorry. Maybe I forget. Maybe I forget. Can Fantastic. I said most most I'm hot girls are useless. Okay. You're most right. hot girls are useless. It's right there. For sure. So just how I feel like there's most men out here that are useless, that are bums. Sure. sure. I would agree with that. So I would agree with that. I there this is true to a certain degree. I respect that for sure. But I feel like sometimes you provoke girls to a certain extent. By telling the truth? <laughs> Not by telling the truth. I literally just told the truth. No no no. Okay, I understand. But she was Like she got angry and walked away because the truth. I understand, but she was talking, and then you immediately cut her off and say, "Stop listening with your, stop talking with your emotions." She was. I don't think so. She absolutely was. Anytime you respond with an emotional response of "but me," well, that's an emotional response because I'm talking about in general. Because she said, "I work hard." Because you're talking about females. Yeah, but she's a female. Okay, but notice how when you said most guys are bums, did I make a personal argument to say, "Well, I'm not a bum"? Because maybe you don't believe you're. A bum. No, because I'm not low IQ. I understand that if you make an objective statement in general and it doesn't apply to me or not is irrelevant because it's still the truth. I'm not going to sit here and say, when you said most guys are bums, I'm not going to sit here and say, what the fuck? Like, I'm not a bum. That's a low IQ argument. I'm a bum. Okay. 
There you go. So, I gotta go, sure. but it was glad talking to you guys. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have something you want to say? She got so triggered. There you go, guys. I'm proving this. And now waste our time. Fantastic. As if she's so busy. What is she gonna do? Go drink alcohol. Go to a party and drink alcohol. That's what she's gonna do. So yeah. This guy in Miami. I'm proving this stupid. He's a rap. Hey, yeah. Tyler, come on, buddy. Yo, I thought Chris was a bum. I beat you, yeah. buddy. Buddy, you come on. Yeah. Me, Ralph. Well, <laughs> Make Ralph. You're going to get it, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb, baby, this is a loser. <laughs> He's a motherfucking loser. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what's up, baby. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. up, man? How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got the whole snake and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? So, yeah, um... Just ignore and he'll walk away. That's nigga tripping, bro. Yeah, just ignore and he walks away. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't address him at all. So yeah, you just literally ignore and he just walks away. That's what it is. He has a what? Okay. Well, when he pulls that out, he'll get fucking smoked. Yeah, you got a stick. <laughs> <laughs> a real stick. A real stick. Bop, bop. <laughs> I was thinking.